viewers welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, vaginosis or bacterial vaginosis you know and uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day and if you need more information about any topic uh, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, to visit this website you can uh, click the link in the description thank you now uh, vaginal uh, Bacterial vaginosis or vaginosis uh, is a mild uh, bacterial infection of the vagina, you know. And uh, it's common yet uh, poorly understood uh, in which ba the balance of the bacteria inside the vagina becomes uh, disrupted, you know. And the bacterial vaginosis is a mild infection of the vagina and uh, which is caused by bacteria, you know. And uh, the vagina naturally has an environment containing the good and the bad bacteria, you know. and uh, 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 in case of the bacterial vaginosis, there is an excess of the bad bacteria, and uh, this throws the vaginal environment out of balance, you know. And uh, bacterial vaginosis uh, is uh, uh, usually a mild problem that may go away on its own in few days, but it can uh, lead to more serious complications or the problems. So it's good to uh, uh, to see your doctor uh, and uh, get it treated, you know. Now the next thing is what are the causes of vaginosis, you know. You know, uh, bacterial vaginosis also is referred to as uh, the non-specific uh, vaginitis, which is a, bacteria, uh, is a vaginal condition that can uh, produce vaginal discharge and result from an outgrowth or overgrowth of the certain kinds of bacteria in the vagina, you know. And the experts are not sure uh, what causes the bacteria. Uh, in the vagina to get out of balance, you know, but certain things make it more likely to happen and the risk factors of getting bacterial vaginosis is higher if uh, uh, you have uh, uh, more than one uh, uh, sex partners, you know, uh, you are douching, douching means that you are cleaning, you are using the cleaning products to clean the vagina, you know, so you don't you don't need to do that because there is a natural mechanism to clean the vagina from the inside but you can just wipe from the outside you know for the hygiene purpose if you want to and uh, you may be able to avoid uh, the bacterial vaginosis if you limit your number of sex partners and don't uh, douch or smoke you know so the multiple sex partners douching and the smoking are the risk factors now the next thing is uh, uh, what are the symptoms you know, about half of the women with the bacterial vaginosis will uh, have no symptoms and the bacterial vaginosis may occur at the same time as the other infections or the sexually transmitted infections known as STIs, you know. And uh, uh, the signs and the symptoms of may include like the uh, grey, white or the, uh, the green vaginal discharge, you know. Or the, um, the second symptom may be the foul smelling fishy vaginal odor, you know, and uh, uh, vaginal itching, or maybe burning during the urination, or maybe the uh, pain during the uh, sex, you know. Now, the next thing is what are uh, how to diagnose, how your doctor will diagnose, you know. So, um, if you have any of the problems like uh, foul smell or the uh, painful urination or the uh, discharge, you know, so you should consult your doctor. So your doctor will ask you uh, the questions, uh, which is known as the medical history. So he will ask you how did it start, uh, what kind of a smells you feel, or uh, uh, itching, or burning, or, you know, these symptoms. So then he will perform the physical examination to see any kind of uh, evidence of any disease, you know. And uh, then he will perform the pelvic examination. So in the pelvic examination he will insert the gloved lubricated fingers into the vagina and the cervix to see if there is any kind of abnormality there you know. And uh, uh, if he cannot make the diagnosis then he will uh, uh, take sample of that uh, those vaginal secretions you know to send to the lab to see under the microscope. Uh, so just to see what's happening there you know. So what is the cause of this vaginosis. Uh, and uh, 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 then uh, uh, he will, uh, uh, your doctor may check the acidity of your vagina by placing a pH test strip in, in the vagina, you know. So a vaginal pH of the 4.5 or higher is sign of bacterial vaginosis. So if it's less than 4.5, it's normal, you know, but if it's more than that, there is a sign of vaginosis. 
Uh, so the uh, uh, medical history, physical examination, pelvic examination, and uh, sampling of the vaginal secretions and the testing of the uh, vaginal pH is uh, the normal procedure for the diagnosis of the vaginosis. Now, once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? Um, you know, uh, there are two treatment options. So one is uh, the antibiotics, and uh, the other one is uh, like uh, uh, correction of the vaginal pH. You know. Uh, to treat the bacterial vaginosis, your doctor may prescribe you the medications like the antibiotics, like the metronidazole, you know, which is known as flagel, you know. Uh, and this may be taken as a pill by mouth, and uh, it's also available as the topical gel and uh, that you insert in your vagina, you know. And uh, the other one is uh, 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 clindamycin, you know. So this medicine is available as a cream that is inserted into the vagina, you know. And uh, the other one is uh, tinidazole, which is also available uh, to take it orally or uh, in the form of uh, gel, you know. And the next thing will be uh, uh, vaginal correction, you know, uh, pH correction, you know. So the vaginal pH correc uh, uh, correction treatments are, are relatively new way of treating the bacterial vaginosis, you know. And this usually involves applying a gel uh, to the inside of your vagina that changes the acid balance you know uh, now the next thing is uh, what are the complications well uh, if the bacterial vaginosis develops in pregnancy it may increase the risk of pregnancy related complications such as a premature birth or miscarriage you know uh, but the risk uh, uh, is small and appears more significant for the women who have had these complications in the previous pregnancy you know um, and uh, the sexually transmitted, uh, so it can be transmitted, you know, to the other sexual partners. Uh, then it's uh, how to prevent it. Well, you should not use uh, uh, the scented soaps or the perfume bubbles, you know, and should avoid the vaginal douching, you know, which means the manual cleaning of the vaginal with the water or other uh, uh, pharmaceutical products, you know, and should avoid the strong detergents to wash, wash your underwears, you know. Uh, are the underpants. Uh, so this way you can uh, prevent it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day and uh, please like, subscribe and share and if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.